All right, let's talk a little bit about professional standards enforcement and the resolution process. The enforcement and resolution process of the Realtors Code of Ethics are governed by a professional standards procedures that were established by the NAR. These processes are designed to uphold the ethical standards of the real estate profession and ensure fair treatment of all the parties involved. So <clears throat> the board or the association, when it comes to professional standards, has two functions. The board serves with two vital functions in the professional standards, education and enforcement. First, it provides an education to its members on the code of ethics, ensuring real estate professionals like you and I are, are aware of our ethical responsibilities. Second, it acts as an enforcement body handling complaints and allegations of ethical violations through a structured process. When a complaint is alleged, a violation of the code of ethics gets filed, the process typically involves several steps. A written complaint is submitted to the local board. That's the filing. The complaint is reviewed to ensure it falls within the jurisdiction of the professional standards process. There is a notification. The accused realtor is notified and a response is requested. This stage initiates the due process, allowing the accused to present their side of the story. There will be an investigation. An investigation is conducted to gather relevant facts and evidences. Following this, there will be a hearing. If the complaint proceeds, to the tribunal process or the professional standards hearing, it is conducted before the professional standards committee where both parties get to present their case. Now, I sat on the professional standards committee. I was on grievance committee for a number of years, and this will be my third year on the professional standards committee. If the committee decides there's been a violation, and they will determine <clears throat> and impose the appropriate disciplinary sanctions against them, ranging from something simple like education all the way to expulsion from the board. All right. There is a process for arbitration. Arbitration claims involve disputes over money matters between realtors. This process is slightly different. All right. Filing a claim, you have to make a written request for arbitration to start the process. The claim is then, dis is then screened to determine if it's appropriate for arbitration. Both parties get involved that are notified and the response is requested. The arbitration hearing takes place with a panel of realtors rendering a decision. Now here's the kicker, the resolution, the panel's decision is final and binding, providing a resolution to the dispute. So the, the thing when you want to arbitrate money or have a question about commission, that is a arbitration. The problem with arbitration is there is no middle ground. You either win or lose, all right? Now, you can make decisions with the other side about splitting it before the arbitration hearing happens. But once the hearing happens and the dispute has been resolved, their decision is final and binding. And it's always 100 percent one way and zero percent the other. Now, let's go back to the ethics. If there's a violation of the ethics, here's some of the disciplinary sanctions. They can issue a letter of warning. This is just a written warning regarding this violation. They can fine you a monetary penalty. They can force completion of specific continuing ed courses related to that violation. They can put you on a probation period and therefore you must comply with certain conditions during that probation. 
they can temporarily remove, remove you from membership privileges. And finally, they can permanently remove you from membership privileges. So the emphasis throughout this process is on due process, confidentiality, and fairness. Additionally, the Professional Standards Procedures aims to provide education and corrective measures to promote the ethical conduct within our profession. It's essential that you guys understand and be familiar with this process to uphold the integrity of the code of ethics that maintain a high professional standard. 